Welcome back everyone. I'm hoping that it works the first time tonight, but we'll see. Um, take my Dee Dee Williams hands off because I've been watching her all morning. And I need to go to my channel. So I was requested to do this one uh, in this book. So I'm quite happy to do this one actually. I think I've only worked in it once. <clears throat> right, chat set up. Let me just fix the camera. It's alright, I was trying to set it up all beforehand, but it needs to be up and running before I uh, press play. That's a bit annoying with that wire in the way. Let's just move that all over there. That's better. <clears throat> I'm actually going to go in and do the background first tonight and I'm going to use my neo colours because I felt like I've been ignoring them so I'm just trying to break the spine a little bit here because it's literally the page right in the middle that I've chose so I'm just going to break the spine Hi Jen you okay? I'm just trying to flatten this book out because I've only used it once so it's still uh, quite new. So I'll bear with me. Some books are harder than others. But like I said I was requested to colour in this book and I'm more than happy to. So I've got all my near colours in front of me. I've not uh, picked any colours yet. Hi Lizzie. Jen, I'm doing really good, thank you. Thanks for asking. Uh, I've not picked any colours out yet. I just need to, I've only just picked out the picture. So let's let me have a think what sort of sky do we want. Um, I'm going to be using this palette as well. The Karen Dash palette, it works superbly with the uh, Neo colours. I mean, that's what it's made for anyway. I might go with a red sky, red on flame red and a darker red, I think. Um, come on. Like I said, I have done one in this book. Um, I think I did that mostly with ink tents and a bit of acrylic um, and watered down acrylic for like the splash effect on it. Move it up a little bit so you can see better. And that was really, really fun to do, you know, and really easy, not, not really much detail. I don't think I went in with any sort of pencil on that one. It was just uh, easy to do because the images are quite uh, grayscale. And you get away with using a lot of water in this. So I am just going to make a start with this. I've not done an orange and red um, sky before, so I'm learning this myself. So there's the reds and oranges that I've picked out from lightest to darkest with them five colours. I think I'm going to start with the light and then we can add to it. If you look at the bottom, it's actually a skeleton so I think it's, I don't know, it's partner or whatever, dad. It's very morbid isn't it? But that's the picture that I've chosen anyway. <laughs> So with this palette, you literally just colour onto it. I was using too much the other day, so I'm, I'm learning by my mistakes. I'm just putting a little bit down this time. Um, just making sure my water brush is clean. Because it looks like, like it's stained. But no blue's coming off it. I can't remember what kind of paint I used on that. How are you both? I'm still getting a bit of boy. Well, I think that should be okay. If it's not, I will have a spur. Is that a slightly smaller one? Yeah, that's getting quite frayed that. You know what as well, they're not really that old these. They're less than a couple of months old and they've started fraying, as you can see there. Let me move the light. Am I still connected there? 
I must have there, guys. It seems to have kicked me off then for a second. Yeah, so it looks like it's uh, frayed a little bit on the edges. That will keep going. So I'm going to use the the one that's not stained. So you literally just get your water. You're dumping it. I'm hoping that up. Is that light or high? I just need these. Sometimes it's temperamental. I'm going to try and make this a really, really uh, thin wash of colour. You know, I like build my layers up. That's what I've been doing with my watercolour, but I suppose these are like watercolour, aren't they? <laughs> Uh, yeah, they are like watercolour, it's just in a crayon pawn, I guess. So I'm going to work from the bottom and work my way up, I think. And just move them over. So I have been practising with watercolour recently. Here we go, I promised. I promised. I hope you like this picture. As your boot turned up. I was hoping that it had turned up yesterday or today for you. I'm using Neo Colour 2s in this book. The paper last time that I used water took it really well. So I didn't think you'd mind if I used Neo Colours. Well, well, you'll have to make sure this is the first page that you do out of it then. Are you excited about it, Lauren? <coughs> Excuse me. You'll probably hear muttering in the background. My daughter's still awake. So I've just got the camera. I'm literally right at the side of me. That's why I was a little bit late coming on tonight. I wanted to get on for half seven. But it took a little bit longer to sort her out. So this is going to be sort of a more of a wash. And I've never done an orange sky before. So we'll just have to see how it turns out together. Uh, the skeleton. I think, again, I'll probably go over that with a wash. And then go in with pencil work afterwards once it's dried. I don't call in for UFO. I've just seen your comment. Hello, how are you doing? We don't seem to catch uh, each other that much on streams. I think it's the time difference for us. I know this looks like barely anything, but I would rather go with um, thin layers at first and then we'll build up the colour. Do you remember me telling you about the items that I'd ordered that I, I was going to do the video that I thought you'd all like? So anyway, they've come today, these items, but I think it's going to take me at least a couple of days to mess around with them, to get the hang of them before I feel confident enough sharing them with you. So it'll probably be towards the end of the week, I'm hoping, if not a little bit sooner that I get that video up. Is that all right there for you? I can change the um, the angle, but I think it should be all right. I want you to see out the palette as well. Lauren, let's just say one thing. It's a lot messier than I imagined, but it's fun. And if you don't mind things being messy, which it doesn't bother me because you can clean it up, then you'll enjoy it too. 
so I'll work on that tomorrow I'm not going to be able to work on it tomorrow afternoon because little miss is off nursery so it'll be tomorrow evening I want to practice for at least a couple of nights before I attempt to do a video trying to be rather quick because I don't want it streaking a little bit there. Is that the boots that are already out? The furry tails one? Which one's that one? Hello Kirsta. Lizzie, I'm from the UK. <clears throat> my mod who's on there now I did a first YouTube video this afternoon if you know how to do it Kirsty because you're a mod you should be able to um, share the link to your channel so people can just click on your video because by the looks of me on Instagram I didn't manage to share it very well So if you work out how to do that, you know, you know you're more, more than welcome. I'm just being quiet for a minute because I need to get this layer down before it starts streaking like it is a little bit there. Yeah, Fairy Miracles. I was going to say, I didn't realise that she had a, a different book out. <laughs> Hello, Chloe. Yeah, that's right. If you just click on... Um, is it Kirsty? It's not Kirsty on here, is it? I'm still going to have to call you Kirsty. Kirsty. Colouring Kay's uh, name. It'll say go to your channel. And then her videos up there on her channel. If anybody's interested, she's done her finished pages, January finished pages. Which reminds me that I need to do tomorrow. Kirsty, them items have arrived. Uh, but it's going to take me a couple of days to get used to them before I uh, even try to do any sort of video. So I hope you do understand. Um, right, I'm gonna leave that colour there. I'm gonna go in with a darker shade, like right, right here, and then go darker as we go up, I think. I'm gonna go in with the palette again. I don't think I'm gonna need as much this time. What's that colour? Long one. And two looks similar. There. Let's water it down. Yes, I'm still being sneaker. <laughs> but you'll see it anywhere before the end of the week. I think what I'm going to do with this bit is go around the back bit, leave these clouds. Again, I'm just going to try and work as quick as I can so I'm not getting any streaks. I'm going to try actually on the other side, the wet, wet on wet technique I think it's called. Uh, that might be better for the streaks that I'm getting. What oh, we'll see. Uh, 
Uh, let me just try that wet on wet technique guy on the other side. Hey Debbie. I saw your little tester today. Uh, did it go all right? I couldn't comment because I was literally walking out the door. It was right as I had to set off eight. But did the playback work, work for you? Because I know that you said the other one was black. Did you work it out by any chance? Right, so I'm literally just putting down there just clean water, dipping back into the neo colour. And then I'm going to try it this way and see if that stops the streaking. I have no idea, I've not done this technique with neo colour, so we'll see together. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, it's washing the colour out a little bit. I think I'll probably have to go over that with a few layers. But the trick that I've found with watercolours is always let the layer before dry. What? I forgot. I know because you're in there. Thank you. Yeah, always let your layers dry before going over the next one. That doesn't look too bad because it's that's the wet and wet technique. I mean, I, you might not be able to notice much difference, but the the there's like a streak of a darker colour there. I think I'm gonna have to go and do it like that. You know what? I got the inspiration for doing the orange sky off one of them um, finished pages of yours, Kirsty. I wanted to try something different. So again, I'm going to go slightly darker as we're going up, but I will go over these layers again. If I didn't have this palette, I don't think I'd be able to use the neos in this way. Whereas before I was literally using the crayon and colouring on the page. And then when you was wetting it, you was seeing little lines every now and again. And there was no way of getting them out of the paper. I'm finding this a lot easier. <clears throat> you can use acrylic on it as well, but I won't be doing that because it'll destroy it. It's sad though, Luke. His partner's died. It's sad. Just me for pick a page like that. Uh, right, I was going to do the wet on wet technique once I let me clean my brush. Let's go in and wet. Oh, it wasn't clean. I'll be alright. A little bit on there. Let's add the pigment now. Yeah, he's definitely going to need a couple of layers. Danny's just got back from Tesco and look what he's just found. At last, at last, he's finally got it. I think the delivery was um, delayed for some reason. I've not even flipped through it. Flip, flip through it. He's literally just popped it on the table for me. <clears throat> oh well, that's just nasty, isn't it, Lizzie? I wouldn't make that put you put you off from using watercolour if that's something you know if you like trying new things. You shouldn't have said that to you. The only reason I got that one oh what I wanted that one Kirsty is because I wanted to use alcohol markers in it. You can't use that in the um the books. Uh, that's still a bit like that, yeah. Yeah, so that was the only reason that I wanted that one. And I, I could possibly use watercolours on it as well. 
if, if the page buckles on that i don't really you know i don't really care but if it buckled in one of the proper hannah cows on boots i would have been really upset to say the least have you not worked any more in soulmates colour again now which is going to be we've used them three so the next one's ruby red some of these reds look so similar right, same thing again Wet in the page. Did you manage to finish your picture, Deborah? Uh, you reinstalled the help, you don't know what happened to the last one. I have no idea what you did, to be honest. Uh, I've never known that to happen before. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Because it was a longer, um, it was a longer stream that last night. So it's a shame that's happened. Sometimes it happens with this one, though. It just won't connect. I'll have to turn my phone off and on again. I don't know what goes on. But I'll tell you what, it's definitely easier than using a laptop at the moment. So I've thought about something else to do. I think the trick is with watercolour, you've just got to be quick. See these two colours look so similar, but they are different. Right, I'm going to start working on this one again now and darken it up. This, these brushes are the um, Arteza water brushes, the ones with the little button on. Uh, they, they weren't so much. How many was in the packet? One, two, three, four. I think there were six, was a five, one, two, three, no, there were six. So you get three of the pointed ones, like pointy ended brush ones, and then you get three um the flat are they called chisel nibs. Well the the flat brush ones, and yeah, they're alright, yeah. I think they were under a tenner. Yeah, they were definitely under ten pound, I believe. Um, right, so my lightest shade. Brilliant. What time are you coming on tomorrow, Debbie? Thank you, Olga. This is a book I do need to work more in. It's definitely uh, more of an unusual one. I've not seen many people working in this one. I am going to make that a little bit darker actually. To do with watercolour though I have ordered some different ones and they were the more like this because I've only got the one and I think the ones that I ordered I think they were about six six pounds for five of them but the delivery weight on that was probably about two weeks they've still not arrived yet I don't know what they're gonna be like 
I just needed slightly better uh, watercolour brushes. Oh, the complexion palette did turn up at long last. The Prima one. Uh, where are we? Right at the bottom. So I already showed you the decadent pies one that I had. So those are the colours there. And I was using this one, this one and this one and they were making it a really nice um, skin tone colour. But I didn't realise that I'd already ordered the complexion one. But the weight was longer. But as you can see there are a lot more actual skin tone colours in this and I have messed around a little bit this afternoon. The only thing that I don't understand there's a gold one in this and it's called pistachio cream and there's a gold one in this that's literally called gold. Why would you have a gold in a skin palette? I don't really understand. But yeah it's there anyway. Hey Amir. Uh, they're the ones from Etsy, aren't they, Debra? I told you you might wait, wait a little while for them. Lizzie, which pencils? I've not used any pencils yet. People don't appreciate pretty sorry enough. Just like people play Pokemon, but few play Jurassic Alive. <laughs> I played the Jurassic Park game on the Xbox. I can't remember what it's called now. Where you build your own... Um, Park. That was last year though. That was last year. Yeah, she takes a little while, that lady, to uh, dispatch, unfortunately. So, the way that I've been doing watercolours, I mean, I don't even know if these are watercolours, the nail colour too, so what would you class them as? Um, I've been putting the paints down and then going back once they've dried and blending out the edges and that seems to be working because I've looked at tutorials about how to watercolour but there's not really, apart from Dee Dee, there's not many people that use watercolours in colouring boots. Well, nine times out of ten, when you're using a colouring book, it's not going to be watercolour paper. So it's all right, someone's saying do this technique, but they're using watercolour paper, so it won't work. So I'm sort of like just testing things out myself and seeing what works and what doesn't. And I've wrecked a couple of pictures while doing that, but you know, it's fine. I'll reprint them off. I don't use them in the really nice books, not till I'm there better. I'm going to nip off in a second, I need a drink, I've not uh, got organised. Let me just do this last bit here. Right, so let me just, see that's, that seems more or less dry there. So I'm just going in with a clean brush and just slightly going over the edges and I don't know, if, yeah you can. It's just blurred the edges out a little bit. Dampening off the brush. Right, let me just go and get a drink, guys. I'll not be a second. Oh, stop being my shadow. Literally walked into the kitchen. Dog follows me bloody everywhere. <sighs> Let me just chat, check, chat. So Thursday last week, 
you might get a dispatch email by the end of the week Debbie I think it was around about a week I waited for dispatch treasures yeah that, that's what I'm trying to say you know I love using watercolour now and it's hard finding um, a book that can take the amount of water that you have to you know actually use um, Kirsty, you didn't miss anything, it's alright. You know, you sort the kids out, that's fine. Is she being good for you? I see. Oh, don't talk to me about me. I've completely too, I've took all the acrylics off and I've cut them all down. I see. And I've just got a nail hardener on at the moment. I just needed to give my nails a break. So I'm, I'm going to leave them like this for a couple of weeks. Let the uh, the nail harder, hardener kick in. And then I can put my nice polish back on. I don't even think I'm going to get acrylics anymore. I kept scratching Isabel. Obviously not on purpose. Um, so that was the reason that I, main reason that I took them off. And it, it weren't just that. When I was using pencils... I couldn't hold the pencil properly, it was hurting my hand. So I thought, sod it, I'm going to take them off, and I have done. And I've cut my nails, we're up to, yeah, so I've cut them all down. And I think I'll just go and get some gel ones done. That'll look nice. I think you're the only person that's commented that, Sue. Move my knee off colours. Did I mention what this boot were called? Oh. I'll pop it on the floor for a second. Uh, dinosaurs a colouring boot by William Stout. I really, really recommend this if you like any sort of dinosaurs and you're a big kid like me, then you'll really love this one. Something a little different. I'm just blending the edges now. The only thing is with the watercolour, not these ones that I'm using now, the needles, and not the um, the normal watercolours. You know all these shiny ones that I know everyone's using now, like the G GD and the KJ designs by Karen. Have you not noticed that when you paint a large area, it loops patchy, and there's nothing really you can do about it? Like, let's say you're doing a background in it, there's nothing stopping, you, you can't get it to look smooth. I don't know whether I'm doing it wrong, I'm using the wrong brushes, I don't know. But I have tried every technique with them things. So I think I'm just going to stick to using them in smaller areas. <clears throat> These are teaser brushes, yeah, I like them, yeah, they're doing the job. They have started fraying, but I think it's probably because I'm quite heavy-handed. Treasures, that's my plan. I'm going to hopefully go over with, um, I was just checking for buckling, uh, colour pencil. I am going to go over with colour pencil. Once it's all thoroughly dried. Just trying to imagine where the shadows would be. Like there'd be a shadow behind the, the dinosaur's head. It's a triceratops, right behind the triceratops head. <coughs> yeah, that's why I made it look like it was supposed, supposed to be. Well, you're better than me, because I just get annoyed. No worries, Debra. Debbie was on a live stream last night and for some reason it didn't save the whole uh, stream. 
if anybody's else is clued up about that, I, I mean, I just know what I use. So if something breaks on it like that, I don't know how to fix it or give advice. And I felt terrible this morning because I didn't know what, what to do. Right, let that dry now. Let's go in with the dark orange in these areas. Like I said, I'm not being ignorant. I do apologise, but I need to work quick with this. Oh, I should have Googled a picture of a triceratops. So I might have to do it on my iPad. Saying that, they don't actually know what colour they are, do they? It's just guessing. They've never, they've never found actually any uh, skin pigments. It's just all artist impressions of what they think the dinosaurs would have looked like. So I suppose I could make this pink. They can't argue. Hi, Susan. Yeah, they can't argue, can they? Here. <coughs> That's hope you can hear it background. Are you playing a game? What is that? Parker on his phone. Has anybody else got the new colour in heaven yet? If so, what picture have you started? I don't think I'm going to have time for the next couple of days. Isabel's got an eye test tomorrow and absolutely dreading it. I'm just worried that they're going to say no. She's going to need glasses. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with glasses, but when you've got a child that constantly won't keep them on her face, that's what I'm worried about. Right, I have. I have treasures. Believe it or not, I have once before. I can't remember what picture it was on now. But um, I've never tried to do... Pan pastel, then watercolour. I've not done it that way around before. Oh yeah, Kirsty, I've uh, I've googled it. I've had a look, and I know what Isabella be like. She'd be one of them that would pull the glasses and then let go. And then what happens then? Ping. <laughs> and then follows the screaming. <laughs> so I'm just hoping either way that they just say no, no, she'll be all right. I'll bring her back in another six months for another test. I'm just slowly but surely darker in these areas. <clears throat> oh, I definitely think they're worth it, a hundred percent. Um, I think it more depends. Are you able to go into a shop and pick your own colours, or would you have to order them offline? Needs to be a little bit darker down here. So you would have to order them offline. Um, I would probably recommend the uh, the skin set, not the big one, not the portrait one, because that is super expensive. Um, I think the set that I got two, four, six. I think I believe there was seven, either seven or eight, and it was about thirty two pounds, I think, and that's the palette that I started off with um, and it was just lucky by chance that my husband was going to New York not long after that so he managed to go into a shop and actually pick the colours out for me otherwise I would have had to order a, a big set and that would have been quite expensive um, but I, I do love them it just scares me bringing them out sometimes because they were expensive and I know how clumsy I am sometimes um, I do need to use them more I'm, I'm rolling around the supplies sort of I'll go through my near colours now and they'll go back and then I'll go back to my watercolours and then th 
you know, I'll go through, you know, so things ain't left there for so long. So I'm not just using one thing. That's what I'm trying to do anyway, that's my idea. And it's not just that as well, it's just so I don't get bored. It was very nice of him here. It was. He even tried to FaceTime me when he was in uh, the store. But it wouldn't connect, so I didn't get to see. He took two pictures though. Right, let's darken this red up. These reds look identical. See, I'm not sure what this is meant to be up here. Is that meant to be smoke as well? What colours contrast with this then? Green's probably going to look best on the dinosaur, looking at this chart. Let's make it stick out and pop. I may even go in with some greys, I think, to make it look like that it's smoke. Clean the brush off. Hey Dee Dee. Thank you. Neo Colour Twos. I bet you've seen this colouring book. The by William Stout. I've only done one picture in this, so I thought, uh, and I was requested to do this one. And I love dinosaurs, so there's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> Elizabeth, thank you. One of your favourite dinosaurs, the Triceratops. Well, it was either between this or it was the Carnal. I probably won't be able to find the page off the top of my head. But there's a really good Carnal picture. Uh, or a th Therizino, I think it's called. Was it that one? Yeah, that's a good one. I think. That is definitely, the dinosaur is definitely more grayscale on that one. But you could do a super cool background with the moon, you know, in black here maybe. That might possibly be the next one. Or even the uh, Brontosauruses. They're nice, the whole family of them. But yeah, it was a bit morbid of me picking this one though, wasn't it? With the skeleton. <laughs> yes, I do, Kirsty. <laughs> I enjoy reading about them. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, like, like really young, like six or seven, my dad used to have um, a really old fashioned, um, it was like a dinosaur dictionary with all the different names and where they lived and what years and what they, what they ate. I mean, again, do they really know what they ate? Do they really know what, what colour skin scales that they had? I just sort of guessing, aren't I? But I think I'm gonna go with green. I want to try and make it contrast a little bit with the orange and the red. But I think greys are gonna look better here. Hmm. And we'll have to mix a bone color together. Have a drink. I shall. That's easier then, Cindy. Yeah, that's loads easier. Thank you. 
Um, you just go into your Google settings, Lauren. You, you should just be able to go into your Google settings. I think it's um, like three dots and you can just change your name through that, I believe. I'm going to try and add some of this, mm, the darkest one I've picked out, Carmine. And just slightly darken that top bit up. I think. Um, let's see. I'm colouring in dinosaurs are colouring beat by William Stout because apparently I'm a 12 year old girl and I love dinosaurs. <laughs> no, it is a nice book. It is a really, really nice book. The paper is really good. It's taking the water really well, considering I'm not really being um, light handed anywhere. That looks pink to me. Mm. I'm only going to add a little bit of that because I'm not too pleased with that colour. I'm going to have to check if I've got a different red. Oh dear. And this is why you should do swatches, Deborah. Let me check if I've got any darker ones. I'm not happy with that colour. Um, it's more of a burgundy shade. Uh, crimson Alasian. Hue. I can't even pronounce that. Let's just swatch it and see. <clears throat> Oh, see, that's more brown. You see, I'm not getting a nice in between. What if we use that and then use the ruby red? Let's try and mix them together. I wanted a really, really dark red. Elizaren, is that right, Dida? Elizaren, Elizaren. Is that you pronounce it then? Elizaren, or Rin? Elizaren. Cause I. Elizaren. I'll try and remember. <laughs> Dida, you just confuse me. You'll just confuse me. We'll just say the very dark red, the ready brown colour. <laughs> right, let me do a swatch this time. Oh, there you go, see? That's right. right let's darken this up a bit. I very almost put um, another order in for the Americano paints, thanks to you, Dida. There's another lady that she's just popped off to make a drink and she's bought, I think she's got three or four now because I've been harping on about them. Because I've got the Arteza ones and none of them are matte. They're all, um, they've all got like a sheen to them. So they, they don't work with colour pencils. And I wasn't aware of that before I bought them. And I've had them too long now to send them back. So I might just give them my daughter for play with it eventually when she does start painting. Yep, yeah, that's worked. Lauren, that's better. Was it easy to do? I'm just using a clean water here and no more paint. Just trying to blend the edges out. Tabbing off the brush and going back in. 
I do think I'm going to go in with grey shades though. Lots of more orange here. <clears throat> So how it is Tuesday for everybody else, I'm hoping to make this my day for coming on stream and obviously if, if something happens with uh, Isabel. But other than that, I can say I'll be here at similar time if that works for everyone else. I don't want to be stepping on anybody's toes. I know Kate streams on I think a Wednesday, you know, is it a Saturday or a Friday? So obviously I don't want to be doing it at the same time as her. I just don't want to be upsetting anyone. <clears throat> See, yeah, I, I, I couldn't understand it, Kirsty. I, I copied, I went onto your channel and I copied the link. And I don't know if that lady was being funny with me or not because I didn't know really how to do it. I'm still learning Instagram. Bye, Dee Dee. Thank you very much for popping in. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know, Kirsty. But um, it, that is that is your uh, your YouTube name, isn't it? Colin K. Wilkinson, and that's what I said. And she sort of uh, she disagreed with me, didn't she? Yeah. Hey, Kimmy. Yeah. Well, I tried anyway. I think I tagged you in it. I think I did. You know what, I'm even going to put a little bit. It was like a fangirl moment that then when Dee Dee were on. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, so I was right then. That, that is your YouTube name. I must have checked about three times and I thought, I I'm not wrong here. Yeah, everybody check out Kirsty's video. <laughs> uh, I'm really proud of her. Considering it was the first time that she's done it, she, it sounds like that she's been doing it forever. She doesn't sound nervous, she just sounds really natural. And I'm really, really proud of you, Kirsty. I'll give you a pat on the back on Thursday. Uh, I want it a bit darker here. I like the look. I went in then with the darkest red, but only a tiny little bit. You know, to darken behind the, um, what's it called that? It's not his horn. What's it called? Lauren. This bit here is, th is thrill. Frill. And that's what it's called. Thank you, Mia. I'm going to add a little bit here as well, actually. So Sammy from Colouring Chat with Sammy was nice enough to let me know what laptop that she uses. So now I know what I have to go out and buy. So I won't get it wrong the second time hopefully. But for now I'm just going to have to put up with using my phone. It's not the end of the world is it? I've seen only one say Colouring Care, like how she else does Deborah. Um, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't, Kirsty, sometimes it says my maiden name and I have no idea why. Oh, thank you, Kimmy. Yeah, I have no idea why. I don't know everything there is to do uh, with YouTube, I'm still learning myself. So light layers work in light layers with these, unless you're going in with the, just the crayon, I mean, then you can't do it this way. <clears throat> Thank you, Susan. You'll have plenty of subscribers before you know it, Kirsta. Debbie, you just missed Dee Dee coming on. She just popped in to say hello.
I felt like I was having a fangirl moment. Got it really shy, making myself talk because I didn't know what to say. <laughs> and then she was telling me how to pronounce something. Wait till I tell Danny that. He's gonna laugh his head off. Shall we do a little flip, flip through? I'm not, I wanna have a look at that new magazine. Would you uh, massively mind? It'd only take a few minutes. <clears throat> is that to me, Debbie, or is that to the other Debbie? I spell my name with one B, so that might be a bit easier. Cause we've got two Debbies on the stream at the moment. I know I can't help it. Honest to God, for the past two weeks, what I've been doing in mornings, once I've done everything that I need to get done, I'm sitting down at my desk doing my colouring and I'm watching Dida every morning. That Dida's just been on. And I told you about a fangirl moment, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> She's telling me if I pronounce something. I've got the chai. I'll be there every day. <laughs> <sighs> Now, what was your question? When did you actually start YouTubing and doing lives? I started doing YouTube around six months ago. Six and a half months ago. Dan, how long would you say I've been doing live streams for? About three, four months? Yeah. Around about that. Around about that, anyway. It, I've, I'd wanted to do YouTube, though, before that for months basically when i started coloring i was watching everybody else and it just looked like fun um if you've watched my very first video you can tell in my voice i'm really uh shaky nervous stumbling over my own words but i'm glad i did it i got i'm glad i got it out of the way sort of thing all right let's let's darken this bit up here Hope that answers your question anyway. <laughs> the other Debbie does live streams as well. She's going to be on tomorrow evening, I believe. She was on this afternoon, but that was just a, a tester. I am going to go in with some greys, I think. Mm. Um, I think the longest I've been on is about two and a half hours and it's been alright in that time. I think. Right, let's see what uh, greys we're working with as well. I might have to clean my palette here. I'm just going to go in with two different greys. I have got a massive, well, I've got a few down there, might, they might be a bit dark. Uh, we'll get a slightly dark one actually. I well, we was talking about weather on the last stream, it's been bitterly cold today. I mean, bitterly cold. It was horrible that walk to nursery this afternoon. This morning weren't too bad, it was this afternoon. I'm just wiping down this palette so I can start with the greys. I've not even used any water though, as you can see, it's just really easy to wipe. I know it's stained, but once I've uh, used soap and water on it, it'll be good as new. So we can move these out of the way now. Oh, so did we. And I was walking with my dad, weren't I? Because he walks with me on a Tuesday because he's off work. He didn't have an odd. And that was probably one of the most funniest things that I've ever seen. Him running underneath the trees. Because, I mean, it hurts, doesn't it? It'll stone, doesn't it? And I had a big hood on. Oh, yeah, it was so funny. He says, why have you not got a jacket with a hood on? I have, but Donna, Donna's his wife. Donna doesn't like it, so I don't wear it. Bless him. So that should teach him. Right, I've got three different greys there. I'll just go through the colours just in case you are wondering. So we've got sepia, uh, grey and... Oh, I can't find the name of this one. Oh, dark grey. 
let's just wet all these and I'm just going to do a mixture of all of them. I might even add a bit of black in here. I want to try and make this look like smoke. That looks like the sea there and there, so we're working on these bits now. Oh, Debbie, I still get problems now. I won't worry about it. I won't worry about it. So, same thing. I'm going to go over this whole area actually. I think that'll leak better leaking like this smoke. I don't know, we'll pretend that there's a volcano or something be behind him there. And that's why the sky is orange. That looks like a redo on that. <gasps> oh, you would never, ever, ever in a million years guess what my 13 year old son first said to me last night when he uh, this afternoon when he's walked in from school he walks in and he says guess what i've been doing in area this afternoon mum i said what he said we've been learning how to put a condom on putting a condom on at 13 years old i says on what he says on a dildo i can't believe it that they do that in school now is that a good thing or a bad thing I didn't know where to put my face, I was so embarrassed. I didn't know they did it that young. He did say some other, other things, but I don't think it's probably appropriate for YouTube. Not, not swearing or anything like that, uh, but they were funny. He wasn't embarrassed of the slightest, not like me. It's like, yeah, yeah, we did this in school today. I don't remember doing anything like that. I told you the stream that I did the, I think it was only an hour long. I looked on YouTube and it says seven hours long video. Hold on a minute. No, it wasn't. What's this been recording? I was worried that it was... I think this was a better choice going in with the greys and I'm going to do grey for the whole top area as well a bit more water there <clears throat> I think it's really nice as well that like, you know the big the bigger youtubers and they'll come on and speak to you because you were saying that Kirsty, weren't you did uh, Didi like one of your pictures on instagram like i said i, I talked to uh summer and i talked to kate right, is this bit dry let's leave that for a second <clears throat> I am going to get that magazine now. That's why that's drying. Just have a little nausea. Let me just put that there just in case it's uh, still a little bit wet. Right, I just want a quick look. I won't know off the top of my head what book is from what, but I'll remember what uh, what ones I've coloured. Oh, I do remember that's from the portrait book, the one with the bare paper. Uh, that's from Soulmates. Don't know. Uh, that's from the first book. What's that one called? Daydreams. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Soulmates. Soulmates. I can't remember. That's in that portrait book as well. I have actually done that one. I believe that this one, she based it off her daughter. This little girl. I've done the squirrel one. 
I'm not a big fan of Hannah's uh, like big cats and stuff because I'm so I'm terrible at fur. I've done that one. That's in the portrait one, and that one is as well actually. And I'll, I've done that one. Which one was in? Was it in Summer Nights? And what's the other one called? Magical Dawn. And that's in Soulmates. Kirsty's finished that one. And that's it. It is a nice uh, issue that. I am glad that I've got it. <clears throat> I said you can use your alcohol markers in that one, can't you? Alright, let's do this bit at the top. I'm not too worried about this bit being patchy because I'm going to go over it a couple of times. Let me just move you back into frame. Are you planning on get that, getting that one, Mia, when you can? I think I'm going to go green, you mean, with dinosaur? Yeah, you will now. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just mixing all these greys together here now. I'm not too worried about these top parts. It's getting quite thick though there. I've got a heat gun. But I don't know if the socket will reach. I've got the socket literally right under the desk at the back. So at the moment, if I want to use it, I'm just taking a socket into the um, the kitchen and using it there. Right, I think this bit here is meant to be water. This bit here and this little bit here. Then we've got the stonework and the bones to do. I'll just add a little bit more darkness. <clears throat> That's how I ended up buying most of mine in single. Uh, the best place that I've found the cheapest place is Jackson Arts. I think they're about one pound. I want to say thirty nine, forty nine each, something like that. I think I initially got the thirty set, and then the rest I've uh, I've bought up and stock. There's some colours that I didn't buy because they just looked so similar. I'm quite happy with the, the colours that I've got there now. I don't feel the need to go out and buy any more of them, believe it or not. Right, I'm happy with that, so let's uh, add the blue in, but I don't want a really, really bright blue. I just want it burly even there, to be honest. Back in, I'm gonna go with, that's probably my lightest one, Col light to cobalt blue. That should be fine. I just want a little bit of a tinge. Which bit, Kirsta? Left, right, up, down. I'm doing this bit and this bit now. Oh, get, get well soon, Cinder. Hope you're feeling better. It's not nice when you feel uh, 
feel like that. On the left, a little bit poking in the direction of the dinosaur's mouth. Here. It has got grey on it. Don't worry. It's the really, really, really light one in the middle. <sighs> no, it is the... Uh, that palette, it was under £9 off Amazon. I've got cheapy uh, little plastic palettes that work really, really well with watercolours, but this one works even better with Neos, and it's made for it. Kirsty's going to say, no, you've missed that big area that I'm doing, because she won't be able to see it. And that's not to... Uh, Taking the Mickey out of you, it's just because it's a really, really light blue. I have well, missed a little bit of grey there, to be fair. So could you back up to me on the palette? I just didn't want to add any more really vibrant colours. Not until we do the green anyway. Right, let me fix that grey there, because that will annoy me. Do you want me to put a little bit more grey on that, Kirsty? I'll put a teeny weeny 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 little bit on. And I'll blend it out just to show you. There we go. <laughs> Did they do a similar thing as well? That's a really good idea, as long as the uh, surface is textured. It's like a little bit bumpy. If I, if I run my nail down it, you might be able to hear it. Hi, Rosemary. Welcome. It's, uh, yeah, got a little bit of a texture. What did you mean then? What did you mean? This here? Did you mean this? Because that's a little dinosaur. <laughs> You see the white bird is what yeah it's it's not a bird actually oh, let me let me zoom you in mm -mm. it's here it's like a little little dragon thing <laughs> it's a good one to take you on then I'm going to wipe the palette again and we'll go in with, well, attempt to go in with uh, ball in the colours. It's really easy to clean off that as well. Uh, for this part, I'm going to go in with my new beloved palette. Well, it's not that one, that's the pastels, that's the complexion. Decadent pies. I think there'll be a good uh, one colour in that one. And I just want my normal plastic palette. I don't like using my Karen Dash one with the, these normal watercolours. I just want to use uh, my cheapy one. Maybe it's because I'm not zoomed in, in enough, because to be fair, it does look like a bit of uh, the clay, doesn't it? Colours. Right, let's make a a bone colour, and there's a nice green in here actually. Kiwi, key key lime. Sorry. Let's get this bone skeleton done. Add more water. Wipe off. These are another watercolour that I really, really do recommend. Let me test. That should be fine. I can always go in later on with shading. With pencil. I might even do his horns or her horns. Can't tell, can you? Uh, same colour. I think I might do up to there. 
you can be a bit messy with this one because there is um, there is lines everywhere. It's not going to pick up the suit, the streaks as much. I'm just going over the whole area. And let's do the horns. And I think I'm going to work on this rocky area before I do the dinosaur. I'm going to do the beak a little bit. I think that's what it's called on a dinosaur. I'm going to do under the um, under the chest where the belly is. I think that's what I did with the other one. I brought the colour up. It was slightly darker underneath, if I'm remembering correctly. That's the good thing with watercolour. You know, I can just go over it with pencil. If I'm not happy with the colour, it's, it's okay. <clears throat> Hiya, Patty. I've not seen you before. Welcome. I'm just popping my head up every now and again because I have to be quick when it comes to watercolour. Right, let's work on the... Cliff, stone, nest. Not quite sure what that's meant to be. Right, I'm gonna use the the bone colour as a base. I'm gonna go in with the pecan pecan. Let's start darkening it up. You need to this chatty thing, you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Do I want it a brown now in hindsight or do I want it a more grey colour? I'm thinking grey now that I've done this because I've got a nice, or is that a, a metallic grey? Is it? I can't tell. What do we think, brown or grey? I don't ask uh, my husband because he'll come over and say do it, I don't know, purple. Because I'm sure he does it if it wound me up. Oh, let's go in with the, the brown. Have, um, let me test it first. <laughs> I'm going to water it down a little bit. Let's just go in. Stick with the warmer tones. If you really are wanting to try watercolours out, I can't recommend these paints enough. I have got a palette of Winsor & Newton half pans and I prefer these ones a lot more. They're a lot easier to work with. And the, the colours are just very unique. That's the good thing with being on stream because if I do miss anything, you guys can tell me because it's nine times out of ten I do miss something. And if it's paint, it's a bit uh, annoying having to get back something back out from one little area. Right. Sammy is lovely. She was kind enough to send me a picture of a, a laptop, bless her. Right, this dinosaur, I'm going to test this uh, green out first. Because it does look quite dark in the pan. Let me show you. But once I've watered it down, I might even add a little bit of brown to it. I think I am going to add a little bit of brown, but I don't want that one. Let's go in with the pumpkin. Right, 
I can tell you he took all the bird crap. <laughs> well, thank you, Patty. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> Just need a money tree. Don't we all, Debbie? Don't we all? Right, let's mix some of that bright in there. That's more like a mustardy colour, like more green. It's just sort of it's just playing with the colours until you get a colour that you like. Right, there we go, that's looking uh, that's looking better. So a little bit more. Yeah, it is nice for people to uh, actually chat to you, you know, instead of, you can see who's, you, can, well, you can't see who's online, but you can see how many's online, and obviously it's nice that people come on and they want to speak to you, really nice actually. Alright, let's pop this green on, instead of be messing with the colour for half an hour. He's definitely an upset dinosaur, this. Look at his little face. Mm, are we buffering? Are we back on? I'm definitely going to make it a little darker greener with the uh, pencils. I'm going to have to literally go in scale by scale, I think. I didn't have to do that with the last picture with it being intense. But I don't mind. Me, or is it stop buffering now? Yeah, it's uh, you, you get that sometimes. I think pe pe some people are just, you know, a little bit shy. Um, but I know it gets uh, strenuous, let's say, sitting there talking to yourself. So yeah, it is nice when people come on and you've got somebody to chat to. I mean, when I'm doing things like this, I've not got my eye completely on the screen, so I'll just check every now and again. But if I'm doing pencil work or normal acrylic painting, I, I usually I keep up with chat a little bit better. Right, Mr. Dinosaur, Mr. Dragon, whatever it's meant to be, because there's one here as well. I'm going to do that in pencil because I've not decided yet. So I finished with the paint now. Where's my lid? Let's get the pencils out. I can't put my nail nail colours back because that'll take me a week and a half. And then little uh, elastic things. Let me put the paints away. I don't know whether, I've been using our teaser quite a lot the last couple of days, so I don't know whether to use my prisoners or polys, I don't know, I've not decided yet, what do we think? <clears throat> yeah, it cuts off halfway through, it's weird that isn't it Debra? Sometimes I listen to and I don't have time to come. Or that's what I sometimes do, especially when uh, I'm in the bigger streams, like like I say, Dee Dee, I'll, I'll go on and say a quick hello. But sometimes the chat goes so quick, doesn't it, that you can't even keep up yourself. Let, her not, let alone how the streamers do it, I don't know. Um, I know, it's sad, isn't it? Isn't it dead sad? Look at its face. Let me, let me bring it in. How sad is that? Trust me if it put this picture. You don't know, I, I don't know, it's just come until a couple of days ago. Well, I really appreciate that you have, have done no party. Thank you. 
Yeah, me, I don't know why she keeps up. I mean, well, she's been doing it for, I think she said nine, nine years, I want to use my I think she said she's been doing it nine years, so she's had uh, a lot of practice, hasn't she? And she's really, really good at it, obviously. Alright, I'm going to go in with the greys first. I was just testing whether it was dry or not. I haven't managed to catch uh, Sammy's live in a couple of weeks, to be honest. Uh, she says she's on this Saturday at four o'clock and I haven't got anything else planned. <laughs> Apart from going to Curry's and taking this stupid laptop back. Apart from that, I've not got anything planned on Saturday, so I'm hoping I'll be able to catch her. Yes, she is. She's hilarious. That's why I went all fangirly. Uh, I'm going to use uh, warm grey 3272. So these are the polychromos. I'm just going to go in and. This is still bloody wet. And darken some of these areas. I might even go in with a darker shade, just leave that one out. I don't want to be, you know, jamming into the paper with it having it's had water on. Warm grey 6. Shadow's gonna annoy me, so let me just move the lamp. That should be better. Because I know if I was watching and there was a big shadow there, it would annoy the life out of me too. I thought it was best to go with the palettes because I'm not planning on doing any sort of blending, so there's no point in me using the prismas. I'm just adding shading. Um, I have no idea, see. I watched him a couple of weeks ago, actually. I like, continuously watched quite a few of his videos and I've not heard anything on Instagram, YouTube, no nothing. So I'm no help there. Do you know why, Mia? I really enjoyed his video. He's got his, I think he, is his, has he changed his garage to like his colouring studio? <coughs> that was a really good one, that. Now he has got a big collection of books and pencils and paints and etc, etc. If you're talking about Summer, yeah, she'll always make you feel welcome, always say hi to her. I think she's uh, been going through a little bit of a tough time, you know, with her, her little birdie, what's happened. Well, I, I'm not sure whether that's the reason that she's, you know, not been as active at the moment, which obviously is completely understandable. Your pets are like your family. I, I mean, they are to me. Like annoying part of the family sometimes. But they're still your family. So obviously when something happens to one of them, you're going to be upset. I was hoping to get an hour practicing with that other stuff tonight. What time are we on? 20 past nine? I probably won't have a chance. It'll probably have to be tomorrow night now. Right, 
Right, this top area, I'm not sure what to do about that top area. Oh, that's horrible, Deborah. I'm sorry. Yeah, was well, did she uh, have the operation and she didn't she didn't pull through? Was that right, Susan? quite sure what I want to do with this top but yeah let's add darkness in this corner and let's see what it looks like she's is she, is she recovering well though Susan is she all right I mean I'm, I know she's not going to be all right straight after a week after but is she is she feeling better in herself now Gosh, seven, yeah, 17 years is a long time. I'm sorry. God, yeah, it is sad when you lose uh, any pet in the family. I'll come with that one a little bit dark, though, so let's just try. Dark one I'm really not worried about this being um, too neat. I'm going to leave that area to a bit, so let me just put these pencils to one side. I'm undecided what to do with that area so I don't, I don't want to spend ages on it and then me going with a different paint knowing me and changing it all up so blue I'm going to go for let see the lightest one I think that's in here she's very strong in her attitude not like yay that's good Let's get this blue down. <coughs> that should be all right, that night. I saw somebody else doing this, and I don't know whether it was a colouring channel or just an art channel. The way that they did, like the movements of the water and the sea. So yeah, basically I'm copying whoever that person was. I can't remember now. I'm going to put the most detail into the dinosaur. I'll add a very slightly darker one. Dry now, yeah. Let's start working on him. That's my greens. What's the difference in these? Because they look very, very similar. Right, that one's slightly darker, so that's the one we want. And then this one, I think. So let's just sharpen them again. 
You know what would be a good idea as well on this sea, but it'd use a lot of it all, the glossy accents. That would look good here and here. So I'm gonna go in with my lightest shade. I don't know whether to use two or three. We'll use two for now. And I might go in with a black green old poser on seven four. Might start so I'm gonna start under I think it's called a crest. I couldn't think of the name of this. I think it's a crest. I've never done it in really uh, large areas, but I did see your fish in the jasmine book. Still it worked out though, didn't it? And even if I got bubbles in this, I don't think that'd be too bad because it's meant to be water anyway. They did, they turned out lovely. They're not necessarily really defined, all these scales. Let me zoom you in up just a tad. Just so you can see, you can see what I see. What's, what song is that? What film's that? You can see what I see. It's, somewhat, it's, a, it's an old film, that. I just can't remember what it is. Polychromos, Debbie. I've been using the Arteezers a lot and I didn't see the point in using my Prismas because I'm not doing any blending. So I thought I'd bring these out tonight. I know right at the side of me so it's easier. <laughs> yeah, what song is that? Do you see what I see? It's, it's an old film that. I did think about using that on this, but I don't think it would go with the sort of vibe that I'm trying to go with with this picture. Um, I have used it in another image. You'll see it in uh, my next video because I need to finish that. Uh, finish pages. So you'll see it there. You might have already seen it on Instagram, that Mystic Art Mirrors. I love it. Once I film that, that video, that uh, picture is going straight up into Isabel's room. She seemed to like it anyway. I like Donna. Donna. He's not leaking, he's got his headphones in. Can you recognise a song that it goes, Do you see what I see? It's an old song, like an old film. Do you recognise it? It goes what? Do you see what I see? It's like an old Disney one or, or something, I don't know. No, he doesn't know. Is it Gremlins? I can't I can't remember which part of Gremlins it is, I'll believe you. <laughs> I don't know why I had that song stuck in my head. I remember that film, I used to be terrified that as a kid. They were very cute up until they got wet. And then they started popping them things out of the backs. They used to have the cute one of the little teddy. Is it called Gizmo? Was it called Gizmo? I can't remember now. <laughs> They're saying it's Gremlins. I can't remember though, I just, I've just got that song stuck in my head. I Gremlins. It's an old one, isn't it? Do you, you not want to have a look at my picture instead of having a look at my chart? Like my dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. Danny doesn't like dinosaurs. He always says that they're fake. And why is he always says that they, they weren't were real. real? They weren't real. Shut up, Danny. They weren't real. Friggin' balls, though. He says it all the time because I used to play that game on the Xbox. But he says it all the time just to wind me up. Or if I'm sat here watching a dinosaur documentary or whatever, he'll just wind me up and say they're not real. They made it up. She 
Mr. Burns one of the best around Christmas is definitely Yeah, is the second or the third one where the girl one is in is in it. Thank you. I think it's that one and she's got big massive red lips. And they're in like a shopping mall or something like that and they've took over that. This is the, the bad ones once they've they've turned bad. I vaguely remember it. It's been years and years and years since I've actually uh, watched that. I'm going to use the same pencil to start shading underneath. And I've got a slightly darker one as well to go in afterwards. The good thing about this book is actually put the shaded lines in to show you where to go to make it easier. Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying about the second one. That is the one with the girl in it, isn't it? Because the first one, it's uh, he gets he gets it as a present, doesn't he? For his son or something like that. Is it from a Chinese man? Something like that, anyway. Zoom you out slightly because it seems like this camera's shaking. Scale by scale. And I'm going to leave that quite light. What's up with you? I'm crying in the beds. See, some of these are not actually drawn scales. It's like, is it called cross hatching? In some of the areas. I'm sort of just going to guess a little bit in this area. Evie, I'll let you out in a minute. I do apologise if you need that footwell on the back when you take his headphones off for a second. Right, let's work on this crest bit. Yeah, I guess he's up as a Chinese man. I see you do I do remember some of it then. No, we moved on to um Polly's knife. I've done the majority well I've done all of it actually. I've coated it all in um watercolour. Does it seem like the camera's shaking? If I just move it a little bit, it might be leaning against the um my desk. And then when I'm moving my arm it might be shaking a little bit. Let me just move it slightly. That should be better because nothing's touching it though, unless it's the wire. I'm not sure. Right, I'm just going to work on this crest now. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. You watch too much TV. Well, it's films. That's different. It's films. Yeah, I don't know if it's the wire. I'm going to unplug it actually, it should be uh, charged up enough. Right, let me know if it carries on doing it because I've removed the wire now so we should be alright. <clears throat> I like keeping the cord in just in case uh, my battery decides to go. So obviously I can't look at that at the moment. I'm glad Lauren actually asked me to do something in this tonight. It makes a change from all the um, the pretty fantasy girls I've been doing lately. I've done a lot of the Mystic Art Mirrors. A lot actually. <laughs> I need a break I think.
treasures I'm not going overboard with any sort of blending that's why I'm not using the um, the Prisma colors that wasn't the point of this I, I like this bit here I didn't want I don't want it to be a perfect picture I'm going in with watercolors and stuff What's the image on the back? Oh, it's a good image on. The, that's the image on the back that I was talking about earlier on. That's the Carnot. That's a really good one. So the paper is uh, a little bit warped now. I mean, that don't bother me, but it might do some. Yeah, they are the go the gorgeous them boots. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but when you've uh, been doing them every single day, you need a, a break of them. Same as the Hannah Kyle's on. When I spent all that time on the soulmates book, I just got it was too much. Has anybody got the? Uh, has any oh, has anybody ordered the new? Oh gosh, what's it called? Me, we was talking about it last time you was on stream. Mary Oliver deck. Has anybody ordered that yet? I'm not managing to find any flip throughs. So if you watch one, who was it? So I can uh, have a nose. Well, yeah, I completely forgot what date we were on. So I'm going to have to get that done probably tomorrow. Tomorrow or Thursday, I'm thinking. But you know me. I think off the top of my head, I've got about 15, possibly 20. So it might be a little bit of a longer one, so just bear with me. <laughs> Patty, it's fun. Yeah, Debbie, she's got a new V kite. It is, I've already looked at the price, it's £29 something. So it's cheaper than the art set and it is an actual physical book. The art set was single pages. Uh, it was put together as a book with like this plastic binding thing. But I took that out straight away because I didn't like it. But this new one, I, I don't know what it's called in English, the name of it. Uh, but that is a proper a proper book, so it's got like a, it's got a cover I think very similar to this. So it's like a pl plastic cover. <clears throat> it was me that actually told me about it. <laughs> she isn't she? She is. Well, I'll let you into a little secret. I'm hoping that I will be the first one that does a flip through. It was dispatched today. I was naughty again. It was dispatched today, so I'm thinking it's probably going to be the start of next week that it gets here. But as soon as it's here, I'm not even going to open it. Um, I'll open it on camera so you can see how it's wrapped up. And I'll um, do a flip through. You know, first impressions. I've got a good idea what's in it because the pictures are on Etsy but it's different isn't it seeing a proper video and uh, people looking through it I feel like I'm getting a blocked up nose now well I, I'd ordered it what day were Tuesday I'd, I'd ordered it that day that you told me about it that, that night I got into bed and ordered it and I messaged yesterday and I said, when will it be dispatched? Do you know any chance? And that was not yesterday, it was the day before. I know it was yesterday. Instead, it's going to be dispatched today. So I think it's going to probably be next week now. Um, right, I'm going to go in with just straight black now. Oh, the mailman will be at your door again. What? If, Oh, because you want that one as well. Giga Beaver. <laughs> no worries, Pata. I couldn't help it. 
it was just because I didn't see anybody's um, pictures, uh, flip throughs, and they do look, they look, it's her style, but it's a little bit more cartoonish. There's a few, quite a few actually, mandalas in, and I've never really actually sat down and done a mandala because I always thought that they'd give me an headache, like the Joanna Basswood beats do. But some of the other images, the more cartoonish. That was the main reason anyway. That's what I was trying to say. Well, that was the main, main reason. And they look they're cute. Yeah, they do look very detailed. So watercolor's coming with my best friend again, I think. <laughs> and then I'll go over with pencil probably. I don't know yet. I don't know. I can't say that because I don't know what the paper's going to be like. I'm hoping for that price it's not going to be create space paper, you know like thin, really thin paper, you shouldn't think so should you? Kirsty, did you mention to Rob again about the set of art on the Tantone paper? You should buy that for Valentine's Day, that would be a really nice present. We've had to start thinking about it straight away now because all the tables get booked up to where we want to go. Um, I'm going to leave the black there as well so my greys are all here at the top to do the sky later on. Yeah we saw that, we saw that and there's no way I'm getting that one because I've already got the set around that stupid but um, Kirsty had showed her, her other half. And we think he should buy it for her for Valentine's Day. Uh, right, I want some browns for these bones now. Which colour is this? Raw umber. Let me just see. Like I said, the, the shading saw sort of already telling me where to go, so it's easier. Really, I'm hoping that I'm gonna get this all finished because it's like a rare thing that I get a picture finished on a live stream. I've not got time the rest of the week now. I just haven't got time. <clears throat> no worries, Debbie. Thank you for being here. I will be on. Whether I'll be talking much, I don't know. It depends whether the paint's out or not. <laughs> but thank you very much for joining anyway. <gasps> Patty, you've ordered it as well. Well done. Good on you. It does look gorgeous. It does. I bet yours turns up before mine. <laughs> well done, yeah, yeah. It looks, it looks really nice. I wasn't going to get it, but I mentioned it to Danny because he'd, he'd, he'd seen me uh, looking at it on Etsy. And he said, what's that? And I said, oh, it's a new book, etc, etc. And I am not know whether to get it from my channel. He said, oh, I'll just get it. He said, if nobody else has uh, got it before, your subscribers might be up might when I see it. I can't ask, you know, he's, he's so supportive. I'm really, really lucky. Amazon as well. Amazon's my best friend. Pat it, I love Amazon. To be fair, I've not had an Amazon since the start of last week, I think. Because them paints were Amazon. That was delivered by the postman, so they don't count. I think Patty's just as bad as us then, isn't she, isn't she for... Oh no, I wouldn't go down that road, Mia. <laughs> I wouldn't go down that road. I would get told off then. There's one thing in being supportive when I'm spending, um, you know, my money. Well, it's our money until we're married. But I wouldn't get a credit card for Amazon. I'd never be off the thing. I feel like 
I'm getting a blocked up nose. I've not had a cold and Isabel's not had a cold as well, but walking back from nursery this afternoon, snotty nose again, but saying that she was sneezing terribly last night and coughing. And she was up at, what time was it? Quarter to four this morning, till half past five, so that was fun. Not. How's Casper sleeping, Kirsty? Is, is he sleeping any better now? Or do you get gift cards because you spend on the Amazon card? Is that right? Is that how it works? I think that is part of the bonds. That little bit there is two. What are you watching? Are you still playing it? Yeah. What is it? Real ball, real money. Give over. <laughs> on what? Sky How much have you put on there? Fifteen pounds. Done it. I've got a thirty pound difference. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that then. He's playing poker on his phone with real money. He's being naughty. Hiya, Bangladesh London blogger. It's nice to see you again. I haven't seen you in a little bit. Casper's still awake. Wait during the night. Yeah, it's not fun this uh, in the middle of the night thing, is it? Me, yeah, that's really good. Saying that, we've got a similar thing. Like our supermarket over here is called Tesco. And we've got a Tesco card like, that we pay, like our bills, etc. And then you get sort of points for that. And then you can change the points into money for the supermarket. I think that's how it works anyway. Right, Evie, I'll let... Daddy will let you out in a minute. Just one minute, guys. My dog wants to go outside. Not wee wees. Not wee wees. Come on. Oh, here we go. Like a torpedo running past me, that thing. Yeah, well, that's good that they do that, isn't it? I still wouldn't get one. I'd be in debt. Uh, I'm going to go in with a slightly darker brown knife. I don't know what to do about this yet. I need to sort of... I do need to sort of step back and think about the... Um, the clouds. Hey, I've managed to finish uh, the series of Sex and the Sitter. And we've watched the first movie as well. I think we'll probably watch the second movie over the weekend. I saw the biggest spoiler as well, Mia, this morning on Coronation Street. Because Gary, the actor who plays Gary, was on um, daytime TV. And it was on as I was pottering around this morning doing bits. And it was a big spoiler as well that I saw. I'm so annoyed with myself that I had the TV on. Let's just add a little bit up here. I feel like I'm holding the pencil a bit different now. When I had the acrylic nails on, I was, they were like digging into my own hand. I think this is probably better. I just need to get some colour on them. Ah, uh, well, I think we're about six episodes behind. This is I think I do, Renny Girl, yeah, I think I recognise that, Lauren. About four pa what packages did you get, Patter? Was it uh, a deliverer? Susan, thank you.
Yeah, well, I was colouring for the longest time, actually. With the, I mean, they weren't really, really long, but they were quite long. But I just had enough that I was scratching my daughter as well by accident. So I just took them off. I know you did, Kirsty. I know you did. I forgot to mention that. Because I saw you yesterday. And then pink nails weren't on you yesterday. I knew there was something I forgot to mention. Right, I need some different browns for this rock. <laughs> to be fair, I thought they would gel uh, nail polish. They look really good. I mean, if I paint my own nails at home, they don't look like that. I think I'll just go and get gel nails next time. A bit quicker and a bit easier. Right, there's a little bit here with his name. I'm not going to touch this at all. I've already got watercolour on it. Um, but I'm not going to go over it with pencil. Because I want to keep his name there. I'm going to have to let the peaches back in in a minute. But finally, finally, I think, um, coming back to normal. Rollo actually came over earlier on and wanted a cuddle instead of sitting there at Evie's cage. It's been terrible these past two weeks. Terrible. Constantly at each other. So I think I finally got my dogs back. Lauren, yeah, thank you very much for coming. Yeah, you do this picture as well. When your week comes, you do this picture and tag me on Instagram. So it's a triceratops on the... Uh, Dead carcass, very nice. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. It's been lovely chatting. Uh, I'm gonna have to let Dumb and Dumb and back in. It's freezing it. Uh. Stood there usually after chase around the garden to come in. I've no idea what else to do with that sky. I don't want to leave it that light, but I don't want to have to go in with pencil either. So I need to have a think about that. Lauren, you'll love it. I'll see you in the next one. I think I'm just gonna finish this stonework here and I need to sort of, you know, like come down in the morning and fresh eyes on it and decide what I wanna do. I'm happy with this bit, I don't like this bit, so I need to have left my, um, my gray pencils out, so I'll go over all that. But I need to think about something to do with this lighter bit. Leave it with me. I don't know if that camera picks up everything, but can you hear them patting up and down? I'm just walking up and down from the dining room all the way up to the living room. or Kirsty or whoever, whoever does it first. Can you check how long I have actually been on tonight, please? I don't think I can do it on this end. on the rug now so you won't be able to hear them. There's a big rug in the front room. 
and Evie as well, she'll run in from eight stars, she'll run on the rug and wipe her feet on the old light grey rug. She's a bugger. And now she's crying. Evie. Evie, what's up? It's rather annoying you. Back to her. Get her. Get her. Honestly, it's that dumb and dumb these days. Can I check on you actually? Can I go like that? Oh, two hours. I didn't think I'd been on that long. Rollo, will you leave her alone? I'm, just try I'm gonna try and keep all the uh, shadow in, you know, to this side, and then move it this side as I'm going over. That probably didn't make any sense, but you'll see. Pat it. I've been using markers as well for around about the same time, and I don't, I don't feel confident with them at all. You're up. So you're up by a three pound quarter. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not overly uh, fussed. I, I don't mind the copics, but um, I can't blend them the way that other people do. Like with this skin set that I've got, I can't. Um, like I can't go in with a light bit and then add the shade in it. Sort of like I just choose one colour of the copics, go in with that, and I go over the top with a coloured pencil. I just can't do it. That's just one one uh, out of supply. I just can't do. As much as I've practiced, my son's probably better than me. So yeah, but I don't mind using them with pencils over the top. Well, that's the only time that I'll use them, to be honest. You know, I've not checked on the the oh who who ones. I've not used them in a little bit. They might have even dried up now. I don't know. I I long do I call my first last. Evie, stop it, please. Bring in a bit here. Snap, patter, a tackler. Wow, that was quick. That was really quick, Kirsta. I mean, you've not used it really that much, have you? You've not used it loads. Yeah, well, I'm the same with watercolours now, Susan. I'm, I'm really enjoying them. Really, really enjoying them. I printed out one of the Mystic Art Mirrors images, funnily enough, today. Put on the watercolour paper. And I did start it. I started the skin, but I got a package and I needed to check that. I've just not had time. I didn't want to do that tonight on the stream because, like I said, this one was requested. If somebody asks for something, I'll do it for them. Uh, I won't have time tomorrow to colour, especially not in the day anyway. Maybe finish it over the weekend. We're taking Isabel to the Indian again on Friday. She loves it though. She's dead good when we take her out. Did you have the lid? I know it's a stupid question, but did you have the lid on it properly? Because I have done that before. You have to sort of wait till you hear the click. Do you mean uh, rubbing alcohol, Mia? And the only gel pens that I really, really love are the Pentel hybrid ones. They are brilliant, brilliant. 
I think half of them, to be honest, I have used them up. I do need to restock them. Why is it we get past like nine o'clock? These dogs go mad. Not a crazy hour, like cats. Right, I'm nearly finished this bit now. Like I said, I'm going to take a fresh look at this in the morning. I'm not going to touch it now for the rest of the night. I'm just going to leave my greys out, tidy my nails, and go to bed and hop, hopefully watch Cora. <sighs> so thank you everyone that's joined tonight. Oh, that was good timing then, wasn't it, Custer? Yeah, yeah, I'll... Um, I'll let you know how we get on tomorrow. Fingers crossed it's uh, good news anyway. Like I said, thank you very much everyone to watching. I just need to really think about this. This. I'm not happy with this. Mm. I reckon I just need to go over with another layer of watercolour maybe. Like I said, I'm not going to have time. Maybe if I get up a little bit earlier tomorrow before she does, which probably isn't going to happen. Right, so what day are we now? Tuesday. You'll see me probably Thursday or Friday in my finished videos. Uh, video. And then possibly over the weekend with that secret thing that I've been doing. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway tonight. I know it's a bit different, it's a bit quirky. But... It was requested and I enjoyed it. So I'm having on now. Thanks very much guys for watching and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye guys. <laughs>